I've always loved reading. I used to read late into the night until my parents would see the light under my door and tell me to go to sleep, to which I would transition to reading my book under the covers with a flashlight. Sometimes staying up until the sun rises, entranced in another world. When I was in sixth grade, my teacher came up to me and said, you know, I think you would make a really good English teacher someday. You should become a teacher. And so I did. I pursued teaching throughout high school, participating in programs that let me use class time to shadow a teacher at a local school and talked with my English teachers about strategies and techniques that they used in their classrooms, all of which affirmed my interest and excitement for a career in education. When I started my undergraduate degree, my head was filled with adorable and stylish classrooms decorated by so-called Instagram teachers, and I couldn't wait to get one just like that. When I finally stepped into my own classroom and realized it looked nothing like the idea I had, I began to understand that teaching wasn't going to be exactly as I imagined it. I've had truly hard days where I dissolve into a puddle at home and question if I'm really cut out for this. However, there are days where I get to make my students feel valued, loved, and encouraged. I love to struggle with a student that finally turns around and works with me and I hear them say, I got it now, miss. I love to see kids debate with each other over which piece of evidence really proves their claim. I love when a student knocks on my door saying they've had a hard day and want to sit with me in my room because it's where they feel the safest. I love when we finish a chapter on a cliffhanger and everyone begs me to keep reading. I love when kids say they don't want the school year to end because they love their teachers, my amazing colleagues, so much and they know we care about them personally. So yes, teaching is challenging and tiring and I still have moments where I wonder if I am the right person for this job, but I honestly can't imagine any other job being as rewarding. That is why I teach.